this one here it says distance between two parallel lines previously what we studied was distance of a point from the line we had this point and we found out distance of this point from this line which is d now here it says distance between two parallel lines we have this line let's take it as l1 and this line as l2 and this is a distance perpendicular distance let's take this point as p and uh, this as q and this as r now we know that in case of parallel lines slopes are equal m1 would be negative a over b m2 will also be negative a1 over b1 if m1 is equal to m2 it means a will be equal to a1 and b will be equal to b1 which will give me if i take this line as say and i take l1 as i take ax plus by plus c1 then l2 will be ax plus by plus c2 equals to 0 equals to 0 so L1 is AX plus BY plus C1 equals to 0 and L2 is AX plus BY plus C1 equals to 0. Now this is X axis, this is Y axis, this is the origin, I take it as O. This is the X intercept for line L1. In that case, this would be negative C1 over A comma 0 and this would be negative c2 over a comma 0 this is y intercept for l2 so this would be 0 comma c2 over b negative i have this point here i have this point here i have this point here. three points are known to me now exactly same way triangle pqr what we used in this formula where I had P Q R as a triangle and I used this theorem and found out D if you use the same method you will arrive D is equal to modulus C1 minus C2 over root A square plus B square this is c1 minus c2 or this is c2 minus c1 over root a square plus b square one and the same thing so if you get c2 minus c1 within the modulus or you get c1 minus c2 within the modulus both the answers are correct because if i take example suppose c1 is 5 and c2 is say 3 if it is in the modulus c1 minus c2 will give you 2 c2 minus c1 will give you negative 2 but ultimately the absolute value is 2 for both of them because they are in the modulus so all you need to do is use this method area of triangle pqr over qr here also area of triangle pqr over qr and then you can find out this d let's take this point as m so you can find out pm or you can find out d which will give you C1 minus C2 or C2 minus C1 over A square plus B square. Alright?